Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So this was another light squat. Pretty no nonsense. I had been a little bit of tired because of my last 180 kg squat attempt. And as I have uh, decided from last few weeks that I will get back onto getting my form correct, mostly my depth, because I'm not happy if my depth is not correct. And I'm always open for criticism and your feedback when it comes to my depth or almost anything regarding squat. Because I believe um, it should be two-way, that um, what I think is important, but also what you guys think, the viewers. So the idea of doing light squats, especially this one, is quite a practice one because it's only 110 kg. And yes, I just wanted to sort of grease the groove is one expression where you just do it so many times that uh, it just sets into you squat back squat is one such movement where as the weight goes up it doesn't really matter how many squats you have done before there is something within us some sort of inbuilt system you may call it a safety system when the weight goes up we tend to stop before we should be meaning we don't go as deep at least it is correct about me and then it takes some sessions some lifting sessions at that weight for me to hit the depth and then i move forward a part of this is skill enhancement and that needs to be lighter you cannot perform well by optimal maximal weight so that's what I do and it is common sense and I would imagine that many lifters do that when they want to get something correct in their form, something as basic as the depth, then I believe they go lighter, 10, 20, 30, 40 kg lighter and this has been perhaps the lightest session I've done. So far I'm very happy with my depth and uh, the descent is pretty controlled and so is the ascent. I did do this uh, session rather quickly because the weight is not as heavy. So there is always a takeaway. I was on a camp for a long time and I still I am that intensity is the primary driver of strength and hypertrophy. It is true to a certain degree, but you cannot just go on lifting heavy, heavy, heavy. As I explained earlier that when you go heavy on squats, your form will degrade a little bit. So you take two steps back, go lighter for a few weeks, then attempt that and it's there in your system. Your nervous system really has to cope with the new demands which is in the form of heavy weight to also keep making sure that you're moving the way that you are desired or prescribed to which is hitting the depth. The depth that I hit is obviously not asked to grass. Uh, let me be very, very clear about it. I uh, I go just below parallel. It could be an inch or two. And the criteria is from starting strength. And it is quite common sense that the hip crease is below the top of the patella. So that is what I keep in my mind. And it is always not possible to know that you're squatting to that depth if you don't have a video, if I don't have a video. There are times, mostly I do know, when I have not hit the depth. And uh, mostly I do know when I do hit the depth, it is obviously a bit more difficult. But I'm still in that stage where I need to do this more often. So a light squat is has got a lot of takeaways, not just strength gains. In the end, and I'm not saying at the end of your life, but at a end of a certain time, let's say in years time, a squat session like this will have a cumulative effect on what would be a performance after one year's time. In, in, if, if in one year's time I'm able to do 200 kg a squat set of five, then this session may not look into the whole blueprint that has contributed, but it would have, because this is where my goal is to imprint the form, the movement, the motor pattern, the going deep into the squat. 
like I said, I had to sit down and think and, and analyze a lot to realize that, okay, I need to do some light and some medium weight squatting and I have to find out what is my takeaway. So I had to sit down and think of what my takeaway was. Obviously, correct form is the biggest purpose of doing this. And without worrying about whether I'll go get to 200 kg or not. There are other great uh, takeaways also when you do uh, what is, for me, a high volume. Six sets of 110 kg. Is that it gives me just the right amount of workout for me to be fresh the next day as well. And lift not squats, obviously, other lifts that may get affected by just doing heavy squats. So, for example, my deadlifts, I'm not suffering. I'm not saying that they are suffering as such, but it is entirely possible. I would love to just um, lift as often as possible. So the next day when I'm there, I'm fresh to do my presses or bench press or deadlifting. And I'm sure I did um, uh, do some lifting in the past in that way where I've done one day light and next day heavy. The day that I'm doing light, it's always in my mind that tomorrow is my actual performance day. So these two days together cumulatively affect towards a bigger picture in six months time or one year's time. And I think I spoke in my last video about the importance of auto-regulation because I am just a gym goer and a... a recreational lifter i don't have the pressure of going to perform in a powerlifting competition so for me the tools that are simpler are better rather than rpe or some sort of periodization pretty much i just do it on the fly just free uh, free styling it with some sort of rough uh, format and that would be four days a week type split and you know one lift a session only or two lift a session and one major lift and accessories. So far, uh, everything is going well. It seems like on numbers, I'm way off, way far off from getting 200 kg. But I'm not in a rush. Uh, I, As I explained, doing these uh, lighter sessions will add towards the eventual picture. And it is just a small brush stroke for that eventual painting that I'm going to paint. Anyway guys, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a short quick one and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.